Here we have some word problems that include either fractions or decimals in them. So let's take a look at these. The first one says, if one half of the cards had been sold and there were 172 cards left, how many cards were printed? Now this one, if you think about it for a second, probably seems pretty obvious. You sold half the cards, you have 172 left, well that's the other half that you haven't sold yet. So really, the number that were originally there is just double that. If that's half the original, then we double that, and what do we get, 344? But let me show you how to put this together in an algebraic uh, equation, because sometimes the, the math won't be quite so obvious to you, and if you know how to set up the problem, you'll be able to solve it correctly. So this says half of the cards had been sold, and there were 172 cards left. The first piece of logic we need to know here is that this 172 is also half. So one half of the total number of cards, and I'm going to call that x, and one half of x, that's going to equal 172, x being the total number of cards. Well, of in math is almost always multiplication, so we can just multiply one half times x equals 172. And then to solve for this, you would simply multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that one half, and you would get x equals 344. Let's try the next one. This one says only one-third of the university students wanted to become teachers. If 3,360 did not want to become teachers, how many university students were there? So we're looking for the total number of university students. So we're going to call that x. That's the total students. And it says one-third of university students wanted to become teachers, and then they tell us how many did not want to. Well, if one-third did, that means two-thirds did not. So two-thirds of this total number, x, did not want to become teachers, and that number they're telling us is 3,360. Now we have an equation that we can solve for x, and that will give us the total number of students. When I have a fraction like this in front of my x, I usually do a two-step process. I multiply both sides of the equation by 3 to get rid of the denominator, and then I divide by 2. So you could think about it like this, and then divide the whole thing by 2 to get rid of that. And the arithmetic comes down to 3,360 times 3 divided by 2, and that equals 5,000. 40 students. Last one. Rodney guessed the total was 34.71, but this was 8.9 times the total. What was the total? So this is the 34.71, and that is 8.9 times the total. So 34.71 is 8.9 times the total, which I'm going to call x. So there we go. All we have to do to solve for x, divide by 8.9. So 34.71 divided by 8.9, and I get 3.9. So that's a little practice with word problems involving fractions and decimals.